Hi, Bernard. Hi, Carsten. So in this video, we are at step number five, right? Which is the second optional step. But if you did the first optional step, you're highly likely to do the second one as well to make it complete. So four was in four, we did uh, create the FSLogix profile share, gave it the right permissions. In step number five, we make it effective on the desktops. And we could set a lot of registry keys, but we don't have our desktops yet. So creating these set registry keys would not work. Um, and I also like the idea of you know, having a central group policy that does these registry settings on the desktops, um, which they are meant for. And for this, yeah. You're saying something. I, I have one little question. So this, of course, uh, requires mm. that our um, VDI um, machines are in an Active Directory. In a, Correct. In a, OK, but if we wouldn't do that, uh, mm. no, we have to log in over Act, Azure Active Directory, so they have to be a synchronization. So, it, so they must be in an Active Directory. Right? Currently, for AVD, as the time when we took this video, uh, it was a requirement for AVD desktops on HCI to be part of an Active Directory. Okay. Classic AD, Then we can right? do the GPA. Yeah. Right. In Azure, AVD on Azure has more options. Um, so there might be the chance in the future that this requirement, desktop to be part of AD, uh, might, you know, might fall. And there are more options to this. But at the time when we took the video, we can do a group policy object because our desktops are part of an AD. Um, and we are now in the August, yeah. August 23, yeah? To, yeah, to yeah, give yeah, a, yeah. So okay, go, we, we are going to the domain controller. Right, and there is a lot of stuff to do uh, and we don't want to you know, uh, do the all of the work. So uh, I have prepared a script that you are going to execute. So maybe, you know, put it, uh, ex execute it in chunks. So for example, line number one until 19 yes and okay. i tell the people a little bit about it so as you have seen we are using organizational units to sort of structure our where our vdi hosts are besides the other parts of the domain then um, and we specified here in line number one so please adopt it to your needs because we will give you the scripts later on um then as FSLogix is not a part of a classic AD domain, uh, you won't see the policies for FSLogix at your domain controller policy editor, right? Um, mm -hmm. But there is a way of doing it uh, because the policy definitions are part of the FSLogix download and that's what we did. So we downloaded them and I think we sort of extracted them to the temp directory. So I think under uh, the C temp drive, wherever you do this, you should see an extracted FSLogix folder, right? So if you drill into that, so you could see the ADML and the ADMX files there. And these contain the policy definitions that you wanna import into your uh, group policy object editor so that, you know, you have more, uh, you see them more and you have, um, it's easier to to adjust the you settings. You have like the right? templates, what to set up, right? Correct. So uh, one yeah. question, Bernard. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The image we will use is from Azure and it is a multi-session yeah. Windows yeah. 11 uh, uh, image and there FSLogic is already included, the binaries, right. but if we would create our own image, uh, this would, here would also be the binaries maybe to Correct. install FSLogic, okay? Correct. Correct. Okay. One, one zip file to be downloaded for all of the stuff. Um, you just need to, you know, tear apart what you're really needing. Okay. Okay. So let's Going go back, back to, to the script. script. Yeah. Correct. Um, so the next step is to, you know, basically to copy the ADMX file and the uh, ADML file to the right location. Um, and that's basically what we do here, right? Um, so we are creating, uh, we are checking for, hey, we did, where do you have your system volume for uh, AD? Um, and then we, I think we are creating a, a, a policy definitions folder. Yes. Um, and place the stuff in there. And um, later on, I think that's basically it, Every, right? Yeah. right? Um, you so, may, you might have already some policy definitions folder. I don't know, but you know, that's, that's basically it. Okay, good. Um, so I copied them there. Mm -hmm. They so were already there, so this is why there was a, a small yeah. uh, 
yeah. Yeah. So we are now here at 30. Mm -hmm. What are you yes. doing here? So, yes, I uh, create an, a policy name or I build up a policy name containing the date, um, you know, that you know where, when the setting was done. Then we do a new group policy object with that name. Uh, and I think the interesting part is the FS logics registry keys, which is really the thing where you define the behavior of the FS logics component that sits on the uh, on each desktop, right? So the most important thing is the enabled value, set it to one. So FS logics is enabled. And then the second thing is where where are the profile um, where are the profile shares? You can do a multiple string, however the notation is like this, right? It is a string component, but you separate the stuff with a semicolon in between. So if you have multiple ones, uh, this, this, is the, uh, this is the correct uh, setting. Mm. And um, we created I, two paths for the profiles because we want right. to have a high available setup and then more than one share is also something that's not too bad. Uh, because yeah. if one share is not available, we have another one. Right. Yeah, and it, it could be also, you know, like for a load balancing reasons that you want to split uh, the workload to multiple shares sitting on different stuff. Okay, then um, instead of going down through every value, um, we may want to run the stuff uh, and see how that, you know, reflects in, um, yeah, in, in the group policy object. So I think you could do everything. Um, so okay, and, uh, I go down and do run the rest. Okay, so it's doing a lot of stuff here. Yeah, so let's maybe go to the group policy editor and see, you know, what the changes have been and what they were. Okay, okay. This is before I refresh. So this is the OU that was specified in the past and the first line you maybe remember. And here are some. Um, let's say templates. And if I go here first and reload, no, it's not here. It was here, the group policy objects. Mm -hmm. Here we have our AVDFS logic um, uh, with the date and time added. You maybe remember you created this string. So if we run yep. the script again, we will have a, another one uh, mm -hmm. or a new one with a new date and time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So and this one to show it here is also mm -hmm. linked to our specified. Uh, right. OU. Remember we specified the OU. Yeah. Therefore it's uh, hooked into this and linked to it. And if you go in there um, or do an edit um, for this one, um, it would open up the group policy object editor. And if you go to policies, get a bit. A bit. So you mean computer policies? Extend, expand policies, administrative templates. And there you should now see by copying the profile, um, the ADMX and the ADML file to the right location, you should see now here an entry for FS logics, right? So this is the, you know, to make it more comfortable thing. So expand this, please. And go to the profile containers because that's the only settings that we did, right? So you see some of the settings are enabled now on the right-hand side. For example, you know, the enabled flag, the size in megabytes, you know, the VHD locations, all of them are now enabled through the PowerShell script that we did. But, you know, you could tweak it um, at that section. So if you would, you know, hop into this, you could, you know, uh, specify your own settings. So um, if something changes later on, you don't need to run the whole PowerShell script, but you could just, you know, edit this stuff um, and it would take effect. So that's the idea based out of it. But there is another thing. So if you could go back to your, um, to your group policy view, um, there's another thing that we changed, which is not only the uh, profile settings for AVD we did, but also for Windows Defender. Um, and these ones are a little bit more difficult to figure out. So if you, I think, go to the right-hand side and click on the show button under administrative templates. Uh, oh, that was right here? Big, uh, that was the... Uh, the wrong uh, one? Backed, backed, yeah. I go back, I, I do this. <laughs> No, this is wrong. Of course, you see so we are could, live no, no, here. No, 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 no. So go to the right-hand side. Last I'm show, here. right, 
right not bottom. show all bottom bottom down the take the last show this one here yeah okay and now extra registry settings oh nice so Let's these on ones, yeah so these ones are windows defender effective exclusion path so you don't want to use you know for or it is a best practice to exclude the profile paths for virus scanning because you have fs logics as a filter driver writing constantly to these profile shares and you may want to exclude those paths from uh, from virus scanning or from Windows Defender to you know constantly mm -hmm. uh, monitor um, because you know there might be a loop um, and therefore um, it's a best practice to sort of exclude it at the time when we took that video. So basically, that's the same thing if you would do it in Azure as well, right? Um, yeah, you that's also it. Exclude some binaries from FS Correct. Logic. Correct. and the temp directory uh, mm. and uh, the temp yeah. directories let it so if you okay. go back to the script make sure that you edit you know the profile path or the the share that you are using here as well right so under the exclusion list it should contain the correct um, your your path as well right okay we did that okay that's basically it um so any virtual machine that is now you know hooked up to that organizational unit should get these FS logics registry settings and then should um if we did everything correct should work so but this we will prove in a later video so that concludes this with this one okay cool so see you on the next one